Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm sharing with you the second Focolure palette. Um, they actually sent me two palettes. I've already shared with you this one which is the Prague 15 colour eyeshadow palette. I'll just show you the front of it again and of course the inside. So I've already shared this one with you. It's absolutely beautiful. My colours to a T gorgeous and I'll link that video down below but they actually sent me two palettes and the second one is the turkey 15 color eyeshadow palette so it looks like this so the first one in fact I'll show you them side by side so this is the one I've already shared with you Prague this is the one I'm going to be sharing with you today they are um whoops <laughs> the phone wants to do an update um yeah i really like these palettes they're quite weighty and um, they're inexpensive but they really do feel good quality their card um in fact i'll show you the width of them really really loved these and loved the turkey palette so much so that i thought when i get a spare moment i'm going to share with you the second one which of course is today so the packaging on this is purple inspired i'll give you a close-up of that so you can see all of the information there. Um, there is, well, they're calling it the uh, 15 pan eyeshadow travel palette and it's number four Turkey. You get all of the information on the front there. And then when you open it up, you actually do get a mirror. When you open it up, these are the shades that you get inside here. Now they sent me two, but there's also, is it Paris? That I really like the look of as well. I think there may be a green in there that I'm really um, gravitating towards and I may have to pick that up. But yeah, really love the shades in here. Now you will have noticed something a little bit sparkly here. And yes, they've actually added, it's very, very strange, but they've added Like, I don't know. Anyway, I wouldn't put these on my eye, but they would work perfectly on a cheek or, you know, put it wherever you want. But yeah, something a little bit different from Focolor. I really also love the shades in here. I mean, I love the first um, palette, uh, Prague, but also this one is just right up my street too. So love, love both of these. Not sure about this. I think if you're into perhaps festivals and all of that, then yes, you're going to love this. But for me, I don't know, I would rather have had a you know, proper eyeshadow um, to use because I just think that's a little bit redundant for me. But the shades look beautiful and I can't wait to actually test it out today. So let's swatch these and then of course I'm going to be sharing them with you. So I'll do row by row as I always do. Um, also with these palettes there's a little bit of a um, difference some are matte some are shimmer and some of them I'm going to see if I can swatch that sparkly one for you yeah it worked very well so this is row one um, so you can see um, in fact I'm just going to show you this because there are some differences here. So on this one, you have, I don't know what it's meant to be, but it's something a little bit different in the actual palette. So you can see that there. And you can definitely see that shimmer there, which is obviously, um, I don't know if it's sequins or what it is, but anyway, that's what it's reminding me of. So this is the first row. So you have this beautiful neutral shade. We all need these neutrals. Um, two three let me make make sure yeah this one is the first one so that is the first one um love it so that's your matte then we have this shimmer i'm not going to bother even saying the names because to be honest they're some are quite difficult then you have this one which is another matte very pigmented they glide onto the skin so hopefully they're going to glide onto my eyes and then there's that sequin one as well so you've got those five shades there. 
Aren't they beautiful? Okay, let's move on to the second row. I hope I showed you that shimmer. I'm just going to show you it again because I may have missed that one out. I'm getting carried away. But um, very, very rosy toned. So let's go into row two. Very, very intense. Oh, love that colour. That is a little bit different. We're seeing so many, um, um, you're like, I don't know. Pink seems to be a colour that we just don't see, seem to see that, that much of, but I'm really pleased with this one. I've got eyeshadow all here, I think. Okay, this is row two, um, and these are like pink plum tones. So you've got this one here, which is a matte. You have got this one again I think that's a matte as well another shimmer there beautiful then we have this one here which again is a shimmer and then the last one is a matte very very intense very pigmented that's why I've got it everywhere now the last row this is a little bit um, of a different shade mm, okay This palette is really offering up some very different uh, eyeshadows and I'm really looking forward to it. Applying it on my eye. Um, the shades here now, there was one, let me just get that sequin is now stuck to my arm. There we go. Okay, so this is row three. And in this one, you've got a very unusual shade. It's very, very shimmery, like an eyeshadow topper. Um, and it's very, when you look at it, you can see it's got all sorts of colors in there. It doesn't look like a flat color like the rest, even the shimmer there. This is something totally different. So really, really like that. So I'll just show you them all together. So that is the unusual shimmery shade there. We have this very, very intense matte shade, a very intense shimmer. You have this one here, which is a matte, and then you have this one here. Beautiful colors to this palette, love it. I actually thought out of the um, two palettes, this was gonna be my least favorite, but actually I'm really loving the shades here. So really looking forward to that. And I've got no wipes, there we go. Oh my goodness, those sequiny kind of, whatever they are, they're going everywhere. So really looking forward now to actually testing out this palette. So let me get my brush. As always, it is, I'm starting off with a Primark I is it an eye contour brush? I haven't filmed for, I don't know, it seems like forever. Um, and I think that's what it's called. Okay, right. The shade I'm gonna start off with is this one here. So second row, first one in. I just wanna see the pigmentation to see what I'm, you know, getting myself into basically. A couple of taps and it's extremely pigmented. So let's see what this, how this works on the eye. I have got a base on my eye and it is the Revolution Eye Base, which I've got here somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> it's, it was here, it's gone. But anyway, it's my usual and it will all be listed down below. Wow, that has come off really pink. I wasn't expecting that. That is very, 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 very nice colour. Like that. As I said, I, I don't know. Pink needs to make a comeback. Um, really love that, and I love. Even though it's pigmented, it's blended out beautifully. But yeah, I mean, usually. Um, I wear like a neutral or an orange. Uh, I don't know why I'm not wearing these pink tones because they are so beautiful, especially in the sun. But yeah, I love that colour. That is different, isn't it? And it is extremely pigmented for such a light toned eyeshadow. Very, very nice. I think I'm going to put that on the bottom as well. Yeah, I love 
love that colour. I think it's called Baklava. I'm missing out the names because there are so different names in here and just recently I've been getting the names wrong so I do also think that the brand Focalor um, is you know they're bringing out some beautiful eyeshadows um, yeah and they're easily available you can purchase you know purchase from the website and like I say I will link that down below um, now what do I go in with next I think I'm gonna keep it pinky and plummy and I'm gonna go in with this shade next so the one right next to it that one there so I'm sticking with the same brush this one is called Turkish Delight so see what the intensity wow is like on the this one okay very very plummy loving that it's spreading over here a little bit just because it is so pigmented well I've got how did I get that on there I don't know I've got so many eyeshadow palettes um, that I need to share with you so I decided obviously I'm going to try and get through the backlog of palettes that I want to share with you. I really love that colour Turkish Delight. It's pink um, with a little bit of purple and it is just beautiful. I love that. These are so pigmented. I mean I've not had to dip back into um, the shadow at all to give me this pigmentation. I think I'm going to neutralise it a little bit and try um, this one here which is, let me get the right row, um, that one there. Is it? Am I going to try the name? No, I don't think I will. But it's that one there anyway. So I'm going to deepen it up and neutralise it hopefully. I might have to neutralise it with a brown because I think I've gone in with um, a similar shade yeah but just a little bit deeper I can't believe how pigmented these are um, I'm going to go straight onto a brown and use the shade hazelnut is it hazelnuts yeah hazelnuts that one there so I'm going to get a little bit of that If you haven't tried these new um, palettes from Focalure, you might want to because the pigmentation is, well, outstanding. And they blend so beautifully. So just adding a little bit of depth now. I said in um, my video a couple of days ago, that I haven't actually been wearing eyeshadow. In fact, I've hardly been wearing any makeup whatsoever. So at the moment, it's not just trying to get back into, you know, um, videos. Um, and I know that, you know, 10 days doesn't seem a long time, but I don't know. Seems like I've been away forever. love that also it seems like I haven't worn eyeshadow forever um, but yeah really really loving this um, palette beautiful okay now for the shimmer oh, I think I'm still wanting to keep it like a pink shade and I'm gonna go in with this one which is this one here that one there so Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Just something a little bit different because for me, um, I've not worn this kind of colour eyeshadow for so long, you know, pink. I keep heading to neutrals all the time. Um, now I'm after a little bit of a 
this one of these brushes I picked up from am I going to be able to remember the name of the store but anyway 95 pence very inexpensive if I can remember the name I'll write it down below um, and I need a very light shimmer now I think I'm actually going to go in with this one here which is very unusual it's all sorts of colors in there so I'm going to try that on the inner corner Now that just adds something a little bit. It is a topper um, and it looks beautiful on the inner corner, but it's one of those colours that has so many undertones to it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the true beauty of it, but anyway you get the general idea it's a mix of all kinds of shades a little bit like oil on water that kind of thing um okay now i need my eyeliner so where is here we go this is the one from revolution and like i said a couple of days ago i know that i'm not promoting the brand as much but because i've got so much from the brand it's going to be silly for me to try not to mention them and there are some products that i absolutely love so you know i'm still going to use those i'm not going to um completely not mention the brand if there's something that I like and that you know is relative to what I'm talking about then yeah I'm going to mention it in the video um, I'm just going to stretch to get my mascara um, and of course the mascara revolution so I'm just going to apply that I don't know what lipstick I'm going to wear but I absolutely am obsessed with this eye colour trying not to mess the mascara up um, it's always annoying when you get to the end of the look and then you mess it up so I'm trying my best even mascara seems a little bit foreign to me at the moment just because um, <laughs> I'm, I was so used to just you know going out with no makeup on um, so everything seems a little bit strange to me at the moment um, now lipstick what color lipstick am I going to wear um, hmm. I don't know and I haven't even got any lipstick out <laughs> you can tell I'm so I'm, I'm really not into the swing of things again um, and I've got to have a lipstick here somewhere where are all my lipsticks ah here we go I've got some lipsticks I've had to stretch um, I think I'm gonna go with am I gonna go with this one um, let me just there's one more oh here we go i think this is going to work beautifully and this is velvet from the revolution pro new neutral collection so like i said it's going to be hard for me not to mention the brand just because i've got so many of their products i don't actually have a great deal of makeup anymore so if i don't you know if i don't mention them I'm going to be cutting my nose off to spite my face, I think, because, um, you know, they're, they're a brand that I just, I still love, even though I'm not going to promote them as much. But this one is the shade Velvet. Um, perfect. Perfect colour. Um, for this eye look that is just beautiful works very very well so that is the shade velvet okay so that is my look today featuring the Focalure 
eyeshadow palette um, and the palette is Turkey. So that is the one that I've used today. Um, I'm gonna have to put the link down below um, for you so that you can purchase it. Um, Focula, I think, is one of those brands that it took a little bit of a while to get going here in the UK, but there are some real fans of this brand, including me. I love, and they've actually sent me, everything that I've shared so far, they've sent me, I've not purchased from them, but there are a couple of palettes that I really want to get my hands on and get hold of. Um, one is the other palette from this collection, and I think it's Paris because it's got a limey green shade within it. So that is definitely one that I want to get my hands on. And there's also something else. I can't quite remember what it is, but I know that it's very unusual. And that's one thing I really like about the brand. They come out with some eyeshadows, um, palettes in particular, that are really outstanding shade wise. I think at the moment, I don't know what it is, but I'm still at a stalemate with eyeshadow palettes. I look at all of the eyeshadow palettes being launched and I, I'm, I'm just not inspired still. Um, so I hope that autumn is going to bring about some beautiful collections and something new um, within eyeshadow. Um, or eyeshadow collections because I'm just a little bit bored of everything and I want something to you know wow me and at the moment it's not um, but I'm really pleased with the eyeshadow um, palette turkey today absolutely beautiful it's very very unusual because pink is not a color or you know like magenta those magenta shades are not shades that I typically wear anymore I really want to always go for the neutral but I'm really glad that I chose this one today beautiful eyeshadow palette very inexpensive and like I say it will all be down below for you I would love your thoughts have you purchased anything from the brand for Couleur? Um, and were you was it I know that obviously they've sent me things and you know it was great getting those but not only that it was very easy um, I had no problems with shipping or anything like that and because they sent them to me obviously my experience might be a little bit different to yours so I would love it if you let me know how their shipping went um, and you know how you got on with that um, so that everybody else you know can get an idea of how their shipping is um, because obviously my experience is a little bit different to yours so I'd love that input um, and if you want to purchase this then um, you know that will help you a little bit more and give you a little bit of you know shipping is going to be okay because for Couleur I don't think they're based in the UK I could be wrong but I don't think they are um, when I order or when I've tried to look at the products and not I haven't ordered yet but you know when you go through that um, it looks like they're US based but then I don't know they're not I'm sure they're not but anyway I would love that information from you anyway um, so I'll leave it down to you now to obviously comment and let me know your thoughts and of course I will be back in over the next couple of days with another video I would also really love um, some video ideas as well just because I'm not purchasing as much anymore I would really really love your ideas and you know what you would like me to film for you so do let me know all of that but until next time now thank you so so much for watching thank you bye